Hello guys, welcome to GeoGuessr. Uh, this is a game which has recently become popular, I think recently been released to... Um, created by Anton Wallin, I think that says down there. Uh, GeoGuessr.com. Basically the game uh, drops you into Street View somewhere, in somewhere that has been Street Viewed by Google. Um, and you can move around using the standard Street View controls and zooming in, yada yada yada. And then you click on the map, and this is presumably Australia, maybe South Africa. You make a guess, you get scored for how many, you get scored uh, by how close you are to that, and then you get a, uh, there's five rounds in total. Now, I've seen GeoGuess have been played before. Um, it's fun, but I want to add a twist, which I don't think has been done before. Um, at least not that I've seen, and at least not as far as I'm aware on YouTube. Um, basically, I'm going to time each round, and each round I'm going to get five minutes to work out where I am. Uh, so I'm calling it the GeoGuessr Challenge. Um, so you you start the you start the the round, whatever. You get the you get the image. You start the time. Um, as soon as the timer starts, you can look at where you are in Street View. You can you you can move around. You can scroll around the map. You can do whatever. You can't use outside knowledge. You can only use what you know. You can't go to Google and Google like Route 66 or whatever and find out where that is. You have to use your knowledge of the place and of the world and work out where you are within five minutes. When the five minutes ends, uh, you can make a guess within the five minutes. That's fine. But when the five minutes ends, you cannot control Street View anymore, you can't return to your start location, nothing like that. You can only zoom out in the map, that's the only control you can work, you can use after the five minutes has ended. Um, what I'm going to do is start a new round, I'm also going to put the link um, of the round that I played in the description. Um, if you want to compare your score against me, I would suggest doing that now, if you do it later, kind of a little cheaty, because you know, you know where the things are, but there we go. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what to do. Um, so, I'm going to refresh with the F5 key. Boom. Okay, it's refreshed. I saw everything disappeared. I'm not looking at the screen. I'm going to start a timer on my phone for five minutes. Time has started. Right. Uh, I'm thinking North America right away. Yellow streets, uh, yellow markings in the middle of North America normally. Um, however... Rio, so this might be Mexico, South America. Okay. Rio, so that's so definitely Spanish. Um, so Brazil, maybe? Maybe Brazil. Uh, there's no landmarks or anything. Um, nothing like a. You are on route, whatever. Um, that's something I found very useful. Is when you're on, in say the USA, you find uh, you are on whatever route, and that is much easier than finding, say, a place name. Um, no passing, narrowing. Okay, that's just information signs. Uh, so I'm thinking South America. Three minutes fifty left on the phone. There's deers. Uh, Let's see, is there any information up this way? There's not even like which side of the road they're driving on because I haven't seen any of the cars. Okay, that's still Spanish for sure. Or a Spanish kind of language. Um, that truck doesn't tell me anything. So it's definitely South America, I, I, I think. So I'm going to zoom in on South America now. Um, I can. I know it's going to be mostly this part. I think you can see my mouse, but this kind of southern part of Brazil, because pretty much all of the street views they've done in South America. I think they've done uh, a little bit over here. Also Mexico. It could be Mexico. I'm not feeling Mexico though. I don't know. I know Mexico. I think Mexico has uh, the yellow markings too, but these are looking kind of whitish now. It's not Australia because they're English speaking. Mm. There's nothing really out this way. Let's go turn around. That's the same way. 
Yep, yeah, so let's go down this way. See what we can find. It's indicating that there's a right turn. That's very useful to me, not really. Um, what was that sign? A little blue sign might be some kind of root info. I don't think so though, but it's worth checking. Ah, ah, uh, BR 158. Okay. So that, that could definitely be a root info. BR Brazil, uh, 158. I have no idea how old Brazil roads are numbered. 154. One. It may even be a smaller road, honestly. These are all MG roads. That's interesting. MG 479. Huh. What are these ones? MG? No, ah, these are TO, okay. Right, so... BR... Nothing that strikes out as BR. Zoom in here, I suppose. A L S E P E P B P B C E P I P I P I P I. Roads are a lot. It will be A. That's not what I need, right? It's BR. Let's zoom in on that side and see. Yes, definitely BR. G O G O M G G O M G blah, 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 yeah M G R J S P Ah, uh, fifteen seconds left. I'm not gonna find this one. M G G O G O. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop the timer now. Five seconds. Um. Zoom out. I think it's somewhere in Brazil. I'm just gonna guess there. Make guess. Ah, uh, not too bad. Uh, B is where I guessed. A is where it actually is. Let's see if it's B R. It's definitely one five eight. Ah, uh, B R is gonna be Brazil one five eight, not something that's regional. Uh, I was looking at the province, like a uh, M S would be. This Mato Grosso do Sol. I'm sorry, I butchered that. Whoever lives there. Um, so it was one five eight. Don't know how they're numbered, so I wouldn't. I probably wouldn't have found that anyway. Um, right. Looking away. Clicking the X. Restart the timer. Five minutes. Start. Timer started. Ah, oh, fuck me. We are in some shit here. Um, I'm guessing either Africa or Australia. That's my first guess. Um, loose livestock or lossy live stick. One or the other. Um, there was a white sign that might be some kind of route info. Uh, it's just a speed limit of 45, uh, which I presume is in kilometers maybe? Well that really helps me. I think Australia uses kilometers maybe. I I don't know. That's not going to help me at all. Um, <laughs> back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. There was a sign with lots of words. It might give me a language. The language is just going to be English. I'm sure of it. Because that's not going to help me at the end of the day. Let's see if we can find that sign. Uh, road prone to flooding or something like that. So we're in a floodplain, I suppose. That's that's useful. Um, I don't know on this one. Again, it's either going to be South America or Australia. 
uh, South Africa or Australia. Which I really don't know. It's hard to tell on these roads because it's just, it's just dirt and trees and and flat roads. This one's actually kind of, kind of not as flat and straight as they normally are. You know, I mean, these terrible ones are just straight to horizon to horizon and no features whatsoever. The junction that might give us place names. They look like they're on a tiny, tiny time though. The uh, street car didn't go up. Street view car didn't go up that road. I don't think. Uh, I'm thinking. I'm thinking South Africa maybe. Two minutes thirty left on the clock. I hate these kind of ones. Cause there's just nothing. I'm judging by the foliage. <laughs> As if I know the. Fo I don't even know the foliage. Okay, never mind. We're not judging by the foliage. I just wanted to sound clever. Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this is a something. This is definitely a something. I wanna. I wanna read that, please. Ah. Ah. The longs, maybe. Hmm. There's a mailbox. Why the fuck is there a mailbox? Who the hell comes out here to get mail? Who the hell comes out here to deliver mail? One minute thirty. I've just been travelling down the same road for God knows how long. I see him all the way over there. Okay, let's just return to start location. I don't know which way I went to start with anyway, so... Let's go this way, I suppose. Whatever, there's been no other cars, no... Which side of the road they drive on, nothing. Absolutely nothing on this one. Oh, That's a car! Hello! Uh, you're driving on the right. You may also be kind of... Oh yeah, you might have a puncher there. Well, that might be just, uh... An artifact from the the Google camera. Let's check your tires. <laughs> I've got nothing better to do in this in this forty seconds. Oh, you've disappeared. Well then, he actually has. He has actually disappeared. Unless they were going the other way, that would make some sense. Oh well, no, they no, they just disappeared. Oh no, no, they would. Ah, uh, well, fucking no. I don't know. So assuming we're driving in this direction, we come to the end of the road anyway. Assuming we're driving in this direction, we're driving on the right-hand side, which means that we are. I can't even zoom out. Honestly, I can't scroll. I can't do nothing. Uh I'm gonna guess South Africa. I think I think that's where it is at. It was it was the United States, really? Good God, it was Texas. But there was no American flags. <laughs> that's the biggest giveaway that you're in America. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Ninety-five points on that one. Jesus. That was terrible. We're just on this middle of fuck nowhere road. A salt brack loop. Salt bra salt branch loop. Yeah, I yeah, I would never would have got that. Anyway, close this, look away at the screen, look away at the screen, look away from the screen. Uh start and it has started, right. Tunnel, 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 tunnel. Driving on the left hand side? Maybe it might just be single lane though, or well, one way, single lane. Yeah, single, single way. Driving on the right hand side because there's another tunnel over there. Ooh, ooh, this is, is this where I wanted to be? I don't think so. I, I kind of turn around a little bit. 
I want to read that sign. Ooh, we're in Asia. I know that much. We're in Asia. Ooh. Okay. Route 100 in some Asian country. Now. That looks like it's a big main road. So we should be able to see that from quite far out. At least um, we'll be able to see if the countries is that kind of symbol. Because the good thing about the maps is that it uses the same kind of symbol as they use on their road signs normally. I don't think it's a uh, Japan. They don't use that kind of symbol. As far as I'm aware, they use a kind of funky little triangle. Um, okay, let's zoom out. Let's head over to South Korea. I believe South Korea has been done. Oh, yeah. Look, 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 look. Okay, 45, 20, 65, 10, 10, 15, 151. I don't know how South Korean roads are numbered. Uh, American roads, I do. Kind of. South Korean roads, I, I, I don't know. 100! 100! Okay. Okay. Uh, we Are we on 100? Or are we in 100? Are we on 100 or are we going towards 100? Um, we're going towards... Goyang. Okay. Okay. Uh... We're facing kind of north-ish. Um, now, 100... Oh, fuck, 100 goes all the way... No. Okay, I think... I think 100 starts here. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, no, there's 100 here, too. No. Okay, yeah, there's a hundred down here. Right, so this is the expressway which goes all the way around. Uh, so, we've narrowed it down to at least this area though, that's nice. Um, we've still got two minutes, twenty seconds. Um, we know we're facing on the road towards uh, Goyang. Uh, now... What I really need is some kind of junction. Junction 15 is kind of saying, though. Um, I need, like, a tunnel. Th uh, okay, it's coming off of 39. Right, so... Is this 39? I think I'm somewhere near here. Tunnel. I think... Fuck. Uh... We're 5.2 kilometers away from 39, presumably. Uh, I don't see all this kind of spaghetti junctions going on, though. I just see tunnels. Um, I'm now facing southbound. I'm, facing, I'm on the northbound traffic, which is on the right-hand side. I can tell you that much. Um, fuck, I'm so close. Um, mm, okay. I've got a minute left. I'm kind of panicking at this point. Because um, I'm so close to knowing what it is. I just need slightly more information. Um, I presume I'm on the 100. Uh, and I presume I'm near that 39 marking too. That 39 junction, I guess. Um, I just need the tunnel. I need to know where the tunnel is. Um, the Saspen Tunnel. I don't... I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't... I can't... Maybe here... Maybe... Kind of splits here... That's uh, 39 though... That's facing north... We are south of 39 so... Fuck... There's the Gimpo Bridge... Um, but these are all tunnels... Why is there bridges now? Ah, oh, six seconds. <coughs> fuck. Ah, uh, dismiss. Ah, oh, fuck. Right. It didn't say anything about 48 or anything like that. So I'm guessing here-ish. I really don't know. No, I'm going to say more down here. Ah, there's 39 there. I'm using map information. I shouldn't really be doing that. Ah, uh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna 
I'm going to zoom out. I'm just going to say here. Uh, make guess. Sure. Oh, come on. 34 kilometers. It was up to the north, though. The National Park area. Uh, let's zoom in and see. Oh, we're facing north, but it come in kind of the other way, I guess. I was thinking more uh, down in the other in the other north, but you can see the tunnels here actually. Ah, uh, rats! Yeah, I should have realised because the uh, road. Mm, should I? Should I realise? Yeah, no, 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 no. Uh, the road's always going to be on your left when you go north. Ah, uh, but the tunnels are right here. Okay. That was a good one, though. It was pretty good. Um, close that. Not looking at the screen. I can see in the corner of my eye that there's a lot of blue. Um, we're going to start. The timer has started. Right. We're in some kind of beachy lakeside deal. Those flags are not familiar to me. There's this little fly in this in this room here, and it's kind of kind of annoying me now. Um, I can't read any of those signs. Okay, it looks like we're on a kind of footpath, so there's not going to be any road information at all. So this is going to make this one really hard. This is around 42, uh, 44 even. Um, I hope we have enough hard drive space for all this. Okay, let's back up and look at this sign. Maybe we can get language. I can't make out what that says. Something about bike. Uh, come on, let me look at your sign. Night docks. It looks kind of. Eastern European sounding. I'm going to say Eastern Europe. It's not Russia. It's more the Latin side of Eastern Europe. Kind of Polandish area. I don't know if that was a lake or a river or what. I really don't know how much information I'm going to find here either because, like I said, we're not on a road. We're just kind of on a path. Okay, give me your information parking. Well, maybe it kind of is a road then. Just a, like a resorty kind of road, I guess. We can also go down this way. What information would we find down there? Probably not a lot. Let's have a look. Parking. That's not in a language I was expecting. Um, okay. Saying about humps. Ah, the road kind of stops around here somewhere. Where the hell am I? I kind of turn around. Oh, I want to keep going this way. The road. I think the road is going to stop soon though. Or maybe not, just kind of... Okay, I think just the mapping got a bit confused. There's some people. Hello people, oh, never mind. Um, yeah. Come on, give me some information. About a resort place, it's parking, there's lots of parking. On bikes, some kind of foresty, resorty kind of deal. Uh, hotel. I don't think I'm going to find any more information in the whole minute and 30 seconds I've got. Um, I might as well use it though, I suppose. See what I can find. Big old building. Uh, this looks like a proper road, at least. Uh, so this might give me some kind of information. Hotel. 
Yeah, but it's definitely talking about a hotel, which is down there. That's a nice septic tank. So driving on the right-hand side, which now has it down to every other country that's not UK and Australia. Um, roadworks. Pedestrian crossings. What's this big old thing? Some kind of school, maybe? Hmm... Okay, I'm going to stop time there. It's 41 seconds left. Um, uh, I might as well just make the guess, honestly. Where was it? We guessed just outside Poland. It was in Poland. So I was right about the Eastern Europe stuff. Um... I didn't find any of that route information, like the 241, that would have been helpful, or the, or the 25. Um, I didn't see any of that. But yeah, we were just kind of on a, a lake with a hotel. Okay, so final round. Close that one, okay. And reset timer, and not looking at the screen, and start. Okay, let's have a look. We are in, driving on the right hand side. No, that was just a one way. Driving on the Asian side. We're in Asia, apparently. I think, maybe? I saw some kind of Asian symbols. It's definitely city ish. A lot of AIA. Driving on the left hand side. And that's definitely. We're definitely in an Asian country that drives on the left hand side. Asian country that drives on the left hand side. Maybe Japan? Maybe Japan does? I honestly don't know. Um, Prince's building. We're in some kind of city. This is the first time I've ever been in a city. And I'm struggling because there's not a lot of information in a city about the city you're actually in. Um, cities kind of don't tend to announce that you are in such and such a city. Oh, flags. Uh, office. Office of something. Some kind of embassy office. Central post office. Okay. Uh, let's go over to there then. That might give us some place information. There's also some flags. They look maybe Chinese, honestly. Um, let's see if we can make our way over to that post office. 3 minutes and 30 seconds. I really need to get to that post office. Post office often have, like, the name of the place that you're in on uh, oh Hong Kong city of Hong Kong big bus we're in Hong Kong okay that narrows it down a lot um, I didn't even think about bus tours okay let's zoom in on Hong Kong quickly now quickly 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 Hong Kong's around this area yeah there we go there's Hong Kong um, okay now then the question is where in Hong Kong are we um there's not many routes in Hong Kong, but I don't think I'm on a, a main road <laughs> um i need I need this sign this sign this sign might help me um come on give me give me your lovely signage. Edinburgh Place and Nolun. Nolun Park. Ooh. Ooh. I may I may be very close. Nolun. Nolun Bay. This is the Nolun kind of area. Nolun City. Okay. So I'm near here, I think. Edinburgh Place. Okay, let's return to start location. Uh, let's find the closest, like, street information sign we have. Uh, 1 minute 40 seconds. Come on, we are so close on this one. We've now down to an area of the city, too. Um, something over there opening soon. That's lovely for you. Uh, there is no... There is no, like, 
road signs anywhere here. There's plenty of bus stops. Let's give me a road sign. Come on, please, please, please. Come on. Go, 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 go down the road. Where the hell are we now? I don't know, 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 I don't know. That's a information e road sign kind of deal. Let's go over and have a have a gander. Uh no loon, mid levels. Uh, it's all about no loon. I just I just want to know where we are with thirty nine seconds. Come on. No loon, mid levels. Ah uh, fuck, we are so close to finding where we are. There's a tunnel on the map which I don't have here. Uh, I don't know, it's a tight packed city, isn't it? Ah, mid levels. I don't know what mid levels are, but they're, they're near here somewhere, presumably. Um, the fuck, seven seconds. Yeah, I know. Dismiss. Ah. Yeah, let's see. Hong Kong down there too. There's no Loon Bay. We're so close. We were so close. Ah, oh, look at that too. Five kilometers. That's not bad at all. Ah, we were down in this kind of air island area. There's Central. There's Mid Levels. Uh, where was the other one? Edinburgh Place or something? I never, f I never did find that. That's the Edinburgh, Admire or whatever. Um, God damn. We're right on this little junction. What is this? Is this kind of like a tram route? A bus route, maybe? One Chatta Road. That's a whole one way thing. I I A. I. Yeah, I. A I I. A. A I A. That's the one. Um, we were so close. Okay, let's get our final score then. The final score is... Oh, this big blue line. I, oh. You know what, though? Apart from that big blue line, we were quite good. If I say so myself, like this E, you can't even see the difference. This C, you can't see the difference. This D, barely. And this A, barely. Like, we were so close and we got... Uh, wait, 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 wait. Go back up. 15,000... 359 points in total. Um, this is the URL I'm going to share with you guys. And, uh, and until next time, I suppose. That's that. I hope you enjoyed this. It's just kind of an experiment. Maybe it'll catch on. Maybe there'll be other people doing the Geo Guesser challenge. Um, but as always, uh, thank you very much for watching. And I shall see you all next time.